Representative Ilhan Omar. Good morning, uh, Congresswoman and Congresswoman-elect. You have won again. I worry that you will have to find a new place to live by virtue of the fact that you have been living largely rent-free in the president's mind. He brings you up. He brought you up at almost every rally uh, in recent weeks. He, he's got a real, uh, he's got a real obsession with you. Well, good morning to you, Ali. It's a great day, isn't it, um, to to wake up knowing uh, that that the president realizes you don't pick a fight with a Somali woman. <laughs> Uh, let's talk about uh, the one thing that the president never got to uh, in talking about you is sort of what you stand for and the, 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 the part of the party that you represent, the progressive values that um, have sort of been pushed aside by virtue of the Donald Trump presidency. we got some basic things to achieve in this country. Our minimum wage is too low. Too many people don't have health care. Too many people lost health care during uh, the coronavirus. And by the way, probably next week, uh, more people are going to lose health care if the ACA is struck down. Down again, we have issues with the climate. We have uh, we have all sorts of issues with social justice in your own state of Minnesota. What happens now? Well, I, I first want to say, you know, I think uh, the president is uh, learning that every single you know person that he's attacked, especially black women uh, and the communities they represented, uh, have all organized and mobilized themselves uh, to rid him of our country. And that is glorious. I mean, we should not lose sight of the fact that it's not just the rebuke of the American people that will eventually send him packing uh, on January 20th, but it's rebuke that comes from the communities that he has um, targeted uh, in, in the last four years. And that is truly the most joyous part of of this this election of the election results. Um, I mean, we we have a lot of work to do going forward. Uh, obviously, we have to address the COVID nineteen pandemic uh, and curb the spread of of this um, virus. I am pleased to see that uh, the the Biden Harris um, administration is already before it's. Um, before it's even sworn in, is thinking about that. Uh, that that really speaks to the hunger we've all been feeling um, for for leadership. Uh, and secondly, you know, we we have to um, you know address the minimum wage crisis that that exists in our country, the climate crisis. Um, you know, many years of social and economic neglect have brought us to this moment. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for us to roll up our sleeves and get to work on behalf of the American people. In those rallies, the president uh, pronounced uh, Kamala Harris's name in very unusual ways that made them seem very hard to pronounce. He, he has great trouble pronouncing my name. Uh, he emphasizes your name in a way that I, I, I mean, it, it has about 18 syllables the way he says it. He is emphasizing otherness. He is emphasizing difference. He is emphasizing uh, race. Um, he is also emphasizing beliefs. He called Kamala Harris uh, a socialist. Uh, he refers to you and, and some of your colleagues that way. He got 70 million votes. 70 million people, despite the racism, despite the disaster of this administration, voted for him. Would you do anything differently? Is there a different way that you would present the things that you stand for to try and not make the next person who does that get 70 million votes? Or would you do it all the same again? No, I mean, I think we're forgetting that uh, the president isn't uh, a symptom of, yes. of me uh, and, and my presence. He has been in, in office longer than I've been in, um, in Congress. He is a, a symptom um, of something larger. And, you know, we have to figure out uh, what the process is to heal the divides in our nation. Um, how do we get over uh, the, the cultural wars that we are in? How do we get in the process of speaking to people who feel marginalized on, on both ends um, of, of the spectrum? And how, you know, do we get to think of ourselves as as Americans and not, you know, the left or the right. So, so if, you, uh, if as, I may, how do you do that? How do you deal with 
how, how are you tolerant of and empathetic toward people who are not that way toward you? Because you have experienced racism, starting with the president of the United States. Do you? Are you capable of empathy toward people who don't think you should be here, certainly don't think you should be in the United States Congress? I certainly am. I mean, I, I don't know if you remember, I, I asked for leniency um, for a person who's currently incarcerated for threatening to kill me. Uh, I think hate is uh, too big of a burden uh, to carry. I work um, and lead my life with love and compassion and empathy. I know that I was uprooted from my home country at the age of eight uh, because of violence, because of divisions, because of what happens when people don't see each other as neighbors, as friends, as family, uh, and turn on one another. And so my mission in life has been um, to work towards creating solidarity between people and guiding um, my life that way. Uh, and it's solidarity that has gotten me, gotten me through the hardest times. I mean, I found family. I always talk about how Minnesota is a cold place, but the people have warm hearts. Uh, and if it wasn't for that, you know, I wouldn't be here today. Uh, an example of what happens when people are willing to give you a chance to have empathy for you when they are leading with compassion. Uh, and, you know, I, I do think of that every single day and what it means to give um, to give back to everyone who has given me so lovingly. Representative Ilan Omar, good to see you again. Thank you. Congratulations on your victory. Ilan Omar of Minnesota. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.